three over the bar line. Play bebop themes with the metronome on the offbeat. These are just some of the techniques of my top 10 exercise of getting better timing. Timing is so crazy important. I believe that we all should practice timing in everything we play and everything we practice. I also think that the trick to developing time like our musical heroes is incorporating timing into your daily musical activity. Try to think about how your favorite musician's timing is and how they got to that point. And maybe add this to how you can improve your timing. Let's get cracking on my top 10 exercises. Leave a comment of what you think the best exercise is. Play any bebop theme with the metronome on two and four. Getting used to the jazz rhythm and jazz phrasing, the bebop themes are amazing rhythmical exercises. Hopping on and off the beat. Having the metronome on two and four gets you used to the hi-hat on two and four. And also gets you into this amazing jazz feel. I will probably say this 1000 times in this video. Please start slow and then speed up. This is the best way to get better timing. Start slow and then speed up. You need to train your micro timing. Micro timing is the subdivisions. Trusting the inner subdivision is so important to get the music to swing. When you play or when you practice, you are responsible for the timing. So it's not the job of the play along or the rhythm section. It's really your job to keep your timing great. Subdivisions is king. Playing this exercise and start slow will train the precision of your fingers. You need to get your finger technique totally aligned with the beat. Your fingers have to work totally tight like small drumsticks. Aim for the metronome beat, get those fingers going in the scale up and down and really trust your feeling of the timing. Metronome beat, metronome beat, scale, scale. <laughs> So this one is really a challenge, but so effective. You have the metronome on two, so when you do not have the one on the metronome, you have to create your own one, you have to make your own beat. This demands that you start imagining your own timing and really imagine it very strong. Concentrate on making the four beats in the bar a real thing in your mind. And you probably noticed this, I moved this exercise into C melodic minor. Get out of your comfort zone train other stuff while training timing. So all these exercises plus a bunch more is all available in the lesson manual on Patreon. It's a very easy download. Find the link in the description. Working on timing, you always need to prepare yourself for more scenarios. Pick any exercise. This is an arpeggio exercise and be creative with where you put the metronome beat. In this 16 note exercise, I put the metronome on the off beat. When I put the metronome on the off beat, it drives the phrasing forward. I like that. So in this exercise the metronome is on all four beats and it sounds pretty simple then. This exercise trains the fast 32nd note triplets at the end of the first beat and the 32nd notes at the end of the second beat. The first pattern of 32nd note triplets are placed at the end of the first beat, whereas the 32nd note on the second beat are placed in the middle of the beat. This is a very small detail, but work on these details and get this super tight. This is what I mean by working on your timing. So get all the details in your timing really right. Joe Henderson is a master of rhythm. This exercise is completely borrowed, stolen from him. His playing is all rhythm and he challenges himself and the rhythm section every time he plays. Play this offbeat exercise. By not resolving to the beat, you really need to have your inner time going. So that inner time, that metronome I was talking about just before, have that going in your system and hit that offbeat every time. This exercise also trains this fast arpeggio you really need to have in your fingers. Remember to train other keys and other modes. This exercise is an E flat melodic minor. Choose your favorite key and get an easy start on this. All the licks and all the exercises plus a bunch more is all available in all 12 keys on Patreon. Link is in the description. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Get used to play a solo with a metronome on only two and four. Don't play crazy, just play nice chords. Do not play too much, play rhythmical and focus on timing only. <laughs> You should always keep a steady timing. When playing these groupings of three, it's very important to always know where you are in the beat. Try to figure this out when you play this exercise. Where am I? What beat am I playing? This enables you to juggle these patterns through a chord progression. A good trick to get through this pattern is thinking the top note as a dotted quarter note through the bars. <laughs> This pattern really keeps you focused on the timing because you need to. If you do not concentrate 100% on the timing on the beat, this pattern just throws you off. You have three groupings of four every four beats. This is directly applicable into your playing. All these patterns and all these exercises are meant for practicing timing, but you should for sure also adapt these into your playing and into your music. <laughs> this into the tunes you are playing. Try slowly, just add one or two exercises. Go slow. I've already added these patterns into chord progressions in the lesson manual on Patreon. There are a lot of extra exercises and examples for you to play in all 12 keys. How about checking out these amazing Joe Henderson rhythmical patterns? And for when you really need to speed things up, Coltrane and Michael Brecker are playing super fast in the second video here. Play music, have fun.